Liverpool in red, Forest all in. The teams have just left the field here, taken away by referee Ray Lewis. The trouble away to our left, where there's a packed enclosure of Liverpool supporters. Two and a half minutes after the match started, they really came over the top of the fence. Away to the left at the moment, there must be some one or two hundred people on the pitch. An ambulance has just come into the stadium and it's making its way through a vast crowd of people away to the left. There would seem to be, from where I'm sitting here, dozens of people now lying on the ground and being attended to by police and St John's Ambulance. I saw two oxygen cylinders being carried down the touchline just below us minutes ago. Some of the people at the back, understandably through sheer fear, are trying to climb their way up into the upper tier once more. I've now seen 15 stretchers carrying bodies away, I'm live I must stress, and at the moment they've been ripping up some advertising boards because they've run out of stretchers, and they're being used at the moment to take people away, away to the left, the corner flag, I see for the last 10 minutes a nurse has what I think been giving a kiss of life to one, uh, one young fan. Well, I think the biggest irony is that the sun is shining now, and Hillsborough's quiet, and over there to the left, the green Yorkshire Hills. The gymnasium here at Hillsborough is being used as a mortuary for the dead and at this moment stewards just as they did at the Heisel Stadium have got cartons and little paper bags and they're gathering up the personal belongings of the spectators some of whom died some of whom are now seriously injured in nearby hospitals and the red and white scarves of Liverpool and red and white bobble hats of Liverpool and red and white rosettes of Liverpool and nothing else at the end of a storm There's a golden sky